Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Good boy. So, this Colonel Faith, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean... I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case... I can see we shall be great friends. 
May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Hey, boy. Dumbass. Good to see you back, Arthur. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <laughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand? Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. 
The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Yeah, uh, you all right there, boy? <laughs> Let's get you cleaned up. Let's lighten the load here, boy. You don't look so good. Hey, Karen. Hello, Hobby. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? I'm only concerned. Sure, Arthur. <laughs> 